Hey y'all and welcome to our joyful home. Welcome to another pregnancy update. Come to you with my my jar of pregnancy tea. This has a couple different herbs that kind of just help with pregnancy stuff. So I'm gonna sip on that while we just jump into this another pregnancy update with me. This is for those of you who are new. Uh, this is our fourth child, and so this is my fourth pregnancy. And I've just been doing some fun updates um, throughout this pregnancy, and this one will be the last update in my second trimester. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So some of you may be interested in what's actually in this tea. It's nothing yummy. <laughs> um, it tastes very herbally. It's just like herbs, but um, I put raspberry red, red raspberry leaf tea, which can help tone the uterus and get it ready for labor and delivery uh, for birth and afterwards and all kinds of things. It's also a great herb just for women's overall health. And then I also have um, stinging nettle leaf in here, which is also which also has a ton of benefits for your. I think it's your circulatory system, um, helps with uh, your antihistamine re or your histamine reactions. It also is amazing for giving you lots of vitamins and minerals, um, so it's really high in that. So it's really good for pregnancy. Um, I also added, I think, some lavender and some uh, ginger powder and some vitamin C powder, I think. Oh no, sorry, rose hips. That was the vitamin C, and then I put a little bit of dried um, elderberries as well. So it's kind of a just good boost for my body uh, while I'm pregnant, and I try to do this even after being pregnant, and um, I'll change it up with different herbs and stuff, but that's kind of what's in this today. So I'm trying to sip on it and get it down, but it doesn't taste very good. I would highly recommend putting honey in your tea. I just am too lazy, so. But enough of the tea, let's go ahead and talk about this pregnancy and how it's been going this past month. Um, I am 26 weeks, almost 27. Tomorrow will be 27 weeks, or yeah, I'll be 27 weeks tomorrow. So this video is coming out a little late. Um, by the time this video comes out, I will be 27 weeks along. Um, but, you know, I kind of wanted to just, even if it's late, I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, so yeah, there's that. But anyway, so um, yes, I am 26 weeks, almost 27, which is crazy because, and depending on who you talk to um, and what site you go off of, some people um, they some people say that 27 weeks is the start of the third trimester. Some people say 28 weeks is the start of the, this, of the third trimester whatever it doesn't really matter the next video that i do film for you guys will be in the third trimester so this will be my last second trimester update for this pregnancy which is insane and crazy um but i love it and it's going by fast that's okay um i have three ish months left so that's insane and i'm getting excited my mind is starting to go towards like prepping and getting ready for this baby we are having a home birth for those of you who are new I've had three success or two successful home births. I had my first child was born in the hospital, but I did try to have a home birth. But sometimes things go awry, and we had to do a transfer to the hospital. But with my most previous two births, I have had very successful home births, and plan on doing the same with this one. So my mind is going into preparing mode, where I am just preparing for this baby. I am putting checklists together and all kinds of stuff. I have some content coming out hopefully soon on like how I'm preparing for baby, what I'm doing, preparing, how I'm preparing my body for labor, how I'm, what I'm taking supplement food wise, what I am going to be preparing physically for labor and delivering, like what physical things I'm going to be preparing for or preparing. So like and what kind of meals I'm going to be preparing, um, different things that I need to gather for the birth. So all those things I hope to be doing in future videos for you guys. So I'll be doing different videos on those different topics. So stay tuned for those and hopefully I can get those out really quickly. Um, and then some of those won't obviously come out till I'm further along. But crazy stuff, it's getting really close. And um, yeah, the next big thing in this pregnancy will probably be a baby shower, um, which is kind of fun. 
we are not finding out the gender, um, but uh, I have, I think it would be really nice to have a uh, baby shower just anyway um, before the baby comes because I could definitely use cloth diapers, which I don't need to know the gender for that because we are going to be switching from disposables to cloth diapers. So um, I definitely would like a baby shower. My mom has been um, sweet enough to volunteer to do that. So that'll be the next fun, exciting thing that we do in this pregnancy. Um, so I'm excited for that. And I also could use some good postpartum things. And so I'm putting my registry together and checklists and food prep and it's crazy but this is like this is where I go into this mode of like preparing and getting ready and thinking and all those fun things but anyway so let's go into how this last month's been going this last month has been going really great so at 23 weeks pregnant I was doing great nothing really crazy happened I'm still I actually had the contractions that I was having kind of slow down a little bit um, but they were still happening quite regularly um, cause I kind of talked about that in my last video, but, um, they're just Braxton Hicks. They're just, con you know, practice contractions and all that. But, um, yeah. And later on down this month, I actually, they even lessened up, but anyway, 23 weeks kind of came and went without a hitch. Um, yeah, everything went well. 24 weeks came along and I had my midwife appointment also went extremely well. It was my, um, um, yeah, and it was great. We got to hear the baby's heartbeat, which was still like this baby likes to stay right in the 130s and it hasn't really moved since um, and not the low 130s Not really the one. I don't know. It likes to jump from like the higher 130s to like The lower one third or mid 130s. It's kind of like in there. So I don't know. I'm still I'm still kind of stumped on like what I might what I think the baby is going to be um I really I, I waffle back and forth like some days I'm just like oh this is <laughs> this is a girl and other days I'm like no -uh, this is a boy like I just I don't know and I don't know if I'll have a definitive guess when this baby arrives or not or before this baby arrives or not um, either way we did hear the heartbeat the baby was healthy and strong it took us a while to find this little kid's heartbeat uh, some of my kids, for some reason, just know really well how to hide in my uterus. I don't know how, especially right now. Like, even then, I was fairly large, and the baby doesn't have a whole lot of room to move, but um, I'm hoping with this next appointment, which is in, like, I think a week or two, um, that the baby will have a lot less room to just, like, move, and so it'll be a lot easier to pick up the heart rate. Um, but anyway, we heard the heart rate and everything was fine. My levels are doing great. Um, and I have great iron levels. The next appointment that I have, I will be, she will be checking my glucose levels. Um, and what she does is you kind of just give, um, she does it a little differently. I don't have to go in and get the stupid glucose drink or whatever that is. Um, but just to kind of check my, I think my blood sugars or anyway. So we're gonna do that test next week and figure out how my levels are doing there and I have no no worries whatsoever. I've never had a problem with it before and I don't feel like I have a problem with it now. Um, but anyway, yeah, so 24 weeks was great. The update or the midwife point was amazing. And now I'm just that much closer to another appointment. And um, after the appointment that's coming up, I will be meeting with my midwife every two weeks because I'll be in the third trimester. And once I hit the third trimester, then um, my midwife sees me every two weeks instead of once a month. So, um, and I actually might end up updating you guys every two weeks instead of once a month, but we'll see. I might not have enough time for that, but I won't get ahead of myself too much. So yeah, uh, third trimester is a week away essentially, and that's insane to me, um, but yeah, so. Anyway, 24 weeks was great. 25 weeks was also amazing. I believe that was the week that we did, um, yes. So at 25 weeks, 24 and 25 weeks pregnant, we were planning a youth conference for this area and for our, our church's first youth conference. And my husband was kind of head of it and I helped him with it. And it was an amazing outcome. We had a of like 30 kids, there's like 50 plus people that showed up. And it was an amazing, it, it really, 
it turned out really well so that was really fun to do and I was really glad we could do it right before I got really pregnant um, so that was really fun but yeah that was like 24 ish end of 24 ish weeks beginning of 25 weeks we kind of did that for two days that was really nice and um, so but that's really the only thing that happened that was really crazy and then my contractions did start to kind of slow down um, I wasn't having as many Braxton Hicks uh, for that week or last week which was 20 which is still this week technically speaking um, but yeah 25 weeks went really well 26 weeks which I am now has been going really well um, the contractions started picking up like yesterday a little bit more and it kind of just depends on what I'm doing um, if I stay active really active they do tend to pick up a little bit and I think it's just my body being like oh hey like your body's working the way it should and but it also happens when I'm really like not having an active week either so it kind of just depends but I'm really hoping I don't have as much prodromal labor as I have with my other kids, um, but I have a feeling I will because it usually just picks up with each kid. Um, <clears throat> and prodromal labor, for those of you who don't know, it's kind of like a false labor. And so essentially you're getting all these contractions that are real contractions, but your body doesn't go into labor. And so sometimes that can happen like anywhere from a month before delivery to a few weeks to a few days. Just depends on the person, depends on the situation, but it's insane. So I'm hoping not as much padroma labor as I have had, but anyway. <clears throat> so that's kind of how the month has gone. It's gone really well. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, my candida problem, which I talked about in my other video or my previous video, um, has gone down some. And so that's a good thing. Um, I'm still working on getting a gut rebalance kit from a gal that I'm doing more research on. She makes, or she has this kit put together that kind of helps rebalance your gut. Can also help flush out candida and yeast overgrowth in your gut. So, and it's safe for pregnant and breastfeeding women. So I'm gonna look into that more. Hopefully this next two weeks, it's an expensive kit. So I'm trying to like save up money so that we can purchase it. Um, but I'm really interested in it by only organics and it's a newer company that I've never heard of and um, but she has like so many people raving about it and it just does such an amazing job to kind of help rebalance your gut along with your baby's gut because a lot of the times when your child is born that baby takes on your gut flora or your gut what your gut looks like a lot of the times can transfer a lot or have a lot to do with how your baby's gut will be when it's born. So um, it's an important thing to take into account when you're pregnant is how you eat and it's really important. And as I've gotten with this pregnancy, I've learned more about my gut and more about my baby's gut and how I should take action to make sure that the baby is set up for a better life outside the womb. So anyway. But it's been doing better. I am still eating pretty strictly and probably will till the end of my pregnancy and so on. Um, but I've been able to kind of add in a few other things like a little more fruits, a little more vegetables that are a little starchier, a little more sugary, um, and still have no problems. So that's been good. But anyway, so, but yeah, that's pretty much the update. It's kind of uh, short, sweet to the point. Um, it's also a little long. Sometimes I go on rabbit trails here, but. Um, but yeah, that's, it's been a really good month and I'm looking forward to the third trimester, to the third trimester, um, cause I'll be almost done. And the only thing I'm not looking forward to is how big I'm going to be, but it's okay. And you know what? The bigger, or the closer I get, the bigger I will get. And that means the baby will be here that much sooner. So I'm just trying to think positively here. <laughs> Um, but yeah so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one real quick I will show you the bump and how much I've grown this last month it's actually I feel like I've had a huge growth spurt um, this baby has gained has gained a few and so has mama but um, but yeah so I will see you guys in my next one have a great one bye